All right, let's talk about this rank system. This rank is so ass, bruh. It's true kings then, bruh. I made it to ace rank about two weeks ago, I think. Maybe three. I want to say two. No, it's definitely two weeks ago. It wasn't three yet. Um, and playing through it, I'm going to let you guys know. It's not even about playing the meta in this game, honestly. It's literally about um, playing damage. Damage and kills is literally all that matter to rank up. So if you want to get to a high rank, literally just play characters that do a lot of damage or get kills or pick characters that can secure a kill like um a lot of my matches like i started playing all might like the gameplay you're seeing now i had to start using all might i tried to use kendo i got kendo got me to like pro three but the amount of points you need to like pro four five was being too much and i was winning matches winning matches you can still lose points if you didn't do enough damage you got enough kills if you do a lot of damage, they encourage, this game encourages one thing, fighting early on. If you fight early in the match, you can rank up a lot. Because let's say early game you do like 2,000 damage. It's going to be hard if you're like in the first, second phase doing 2,000, which is rare. Then you're going to be in that phase, you're going to be the top damage. And as the match gets longer and longer, the more ring closes, the more phases go on. And as those phases are happening, you're just gaining points for that because you're every time you're in a phase getting the top damage, you get a certain amount of points for that. I think it's like 160 or something like that. So you're gaining points just for doing top damage. And then all the damage you do gives you points. Then the kills give you 100 on top of it. And that's literally all that matters. That's literally all you got to do. So do not play ranked with the intentions of really playing with your team you don't have to like i would try to play with them to some degree but then there's times i'm like all right it better when i'm not thinking about winning it's literally not about winning winning doesn't do anything really the only thing winning would do is let you be in the round for more phases to get more points and that's still like you said if you do enough damage or get enough kills that doesn't matter Kill stealing is a really big issue because people can just pull up out of nowhere and steal your kill. Enemy or not, if you knock the person, it doesn't mean you get that kill. If you did all the damage, zero to death them, and you don't get, even if you hit them one time, if one person takes one little hit, the last little two health that they got left while they're down and gets the kill, it goes towards them. You don't get it. So... It really don't matter. You'll be teammates. Teammates are literally just trying to still kill. I had to get into the habit of doing it. Because I was like, these bitches going to keep doing it to me. I'm not going to let it slide. And you can't really go for finishers if you're trying to rank up like that. Like, sometimes you can if you really need the shield. But finishers aren't even worth it because the damage that you deal to somebody when they're down count towards your overall damages. So, yeah, this video is relatively short, but I just want to say, this rank system is garbage. Hopefully they fix it at some point. But, at the moment, yeah, if you're trying to rank up, just do damage. <laughs> just do damage and get kills. Do not care about playing support. So, the characters I would say, definitely stay away from. Um, I wouldn't say play Cementos, unless you're cracked with them. But Cementos is kind of hard to get a lot of damage off. I've got, like, 6k games with them, but it's rare. But, um, Cementos, I wouldn't play. Definitely don't play Kendo since she has to get super close and there's a shit to the Bakugos running around. I would say, uh, stay away from those two. And who else? Don't play Eraserhead right now. He is too glitchy. I think he's worse than Kendo right now. It's too many bugs and his damage overall is relatively low. So, yeah, I would stay away from those characters. Other than that, um... I think you might be good on most other characters. I'm going to double check, really. Yeah, yeah, you're pretty much good. Everybody else can do relatively high damage. Froppy's a little iffy. She does a lot, but <laughs> it's like on one person at a time, and it's burst damage. Like, once her cooldowns are gone, she can't really do shit. Like, her alpha only has three fucking hits in it and you're using it to get towards the person usually 
and trying to hit them with it. Usually gonna use all of those in one fight. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend her personally. I can't figure it out to get high damage. I can get wins with her, but that's it. And um, the characters that are the best at getting points, my experience, All Might, Bakugo, Deku, uh, Todoroki, Shigaraki for sure, Kirishima, uh, Ida because he can take a kill and just move it somewhere else, <laughs> um, Momo, and surprisingly, Kaminari. Surprising Kaminari. Because <laughs> the smaller the ring gets, the better he gets, since it's less area to move around. And if you get stunned once, he can get into like a stun lock scenario. If he stun locks you, you're dead, basically. You can get like a double stun. And then that's not counting any teammate crowd control or follow up after your stun. Yeah, I think those are the best for at this current moment, and since damage and kills is all that matter. He's also pretty good at securing kills, especially if you don't even have teammates around, whatever. You can just shoot some lightning around them, and they'll keep zapping them. And you just walk off while it just keeps zapping them, and they'll die eventually. But, uh... And he hits hard, because when they nerfed Bakugo, Deku, and Todoroki, he didn't get caught by those nerfs, because he wasn't his range isn't as good as theirs. His tools aren't as good. So he has some of the hardest hitting um, alphas in the game. But that's about it for now. Alright guys, have a good night. Take it easy. I'm going to end the video here. King's Den out.